G'day folks, and now, number of people, oh, g'day and welcome back to the channel now, number of people have bloody flies. <clears throat> g'day and welcome back to the channel now, a number of people have said, well, if you're so confident about this little plane, why don't you fly it into yourself? So that's what we're going to do today. I've got the little uh, Outlaw 250, see I even put a sticker on it, Outlaw 250, 248 grams, you can tell because it's written on there, 248 grams, uh, yeah, the little Outlaw 250, and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to fly it into myself, not just once, but several times, and hopefully it will survive, and hopefully I will survive, so place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen, what will happen? Anyway, let's have a look. Well, there you go, easy peasy, look, still in perfect condition, not at all broken, still the original, with the sticker. Um, yeah, so, makes my point, I flew this into myself, hit myself in the knees, I hit myself in the hip, and um, I don't know where else, I can't remember, because there's no bruises, there's no marks, there's no cuts, there's no damage, there's nothing, either to the plane or myself, so it proves that six joules is not a lot of energy, and therefore we don't have a lot to be worried about with this, and if any body, be they a member of the public, be they another model flyer with a grudge, or be they a regulator, has any concerns about this, then I challenge them as follows. You can fly this model into me if I can throw a softball at you, and let's see if they're willing to uh, take me up on that challenge, and if not, it kind of proves that um, this is a lot safer than a softball, and if we're going to stop people flying these things in public places, 
and require them to have all sorts of registrations and regulations, then we need to look very closely at doing the same to softballs, baseballs, cricket balls, even footballs, right? So let's just keep everything in perspective. Yes, everything has a risk, but the risk associated with this, as I have proven beyond any doubt today, is effectively zero. So let's not go overboard, people. Let's just take this for what it is. It's a piece of foam, a very light piece of foam that travels very slowly and wouldn't hurt a fly. I wish it would today because there's so many damn flies around. Anyway, thank you for watching your comments to the usual place, please. And the build video is nearly done. Bye for now.